how to build a digital store using high-level software. That is exactly what we did when we built our Digital Creator Pro store. We are excited about adding more templates, and tools, and all kinds of marketing materials for agencies and small business owners in specific industries. But we're going to start by showing you how we organized our Google Sheets with our master product list, how we created a website store, added products and collections to the store, set up an unlimited access plan to get into a yearly online course, kind of membership community deal. And then we set up an email and automation for the actual store purchase and for our unlimited access purchase. So we're going to go through these in detail. Now, there's a lot of training that you can take in some of our previous videos and previous courses about the whole ins and outs of creating a website store. We're going to focus strictly on creating a digital media product online store. Now, before we get started, I want to show you what our store looks like. You can easily go to digitalcreatorpro.com to check out the store. I'm going to show you a few things in the store so you can see what it looks like as an end product. When you go to Digital Creator Pro, you can jump into an unlimited plan, which is really a funnel that we created inside of the web page. So remember, this website was built on the high-level website builder. The unlimited access plan gives you unlimited yearly access. And we're doing a pre-sell on this when you use the promo code launch right here. You'll see launch and it's going to do this for $2.97 a year while we continue to fill this up. That's under $25 a month. This is completely insane. Once you jump in on our launch price, that's what's great about it. You know me, I like to get all the sell stuff out of the way. So this is an amazing program. I'm going to show you how we created this page and then we set up an automation once the product is purchased and granting access to the unlimited course access. Now, when you're normally in a store, if you're not doing a reoccurring membership or a, some kind of special yearly or monthly deal, you can use this to just create a per product store. So we did just that. We created where you can buy individual products based on the type of template that you're looking for. So we created this using collections. You'll see we've got special bundles and social media. And then in here, these are what's going to begin to grow, which will make our yearly unlimited become more valuable and the price increase after our pre-launch. We've got tons of templates coming. Love this. I'm excited. But if you were to look into the template section, and let's just say we selected the social media templates, this is going to pull everything that is a social media template. And you can see this goes on for days. This is what the store looks like. It's amazing. We also did this by industry. We felt like this was going to help a lot of small business owners and even agencies who market or do social media planning and marketing for those specific industries. So if you look right here, you've got auto, barbershop, beauty, the list goes on. When you select the actual industry, which is going to be a collection, you're going to see that everything in that industry is here. There's also a search bar feature. And what's great is let's say you select this 50 eyelash templates. Look at this store. We've got a price. We've got an add to cart button. And then we've got our special down here saying, look, you can buy this one, but check out our unlimited access. This right here is the store product. I'm going to be showing you how we did this. And when you add it to the cart, you can see right here all the times we've been playing to view the cart. You just click view cart. Once you've added all your totals in, then you just go to checkout. You can see how the unlimited access plan provides value because you can purchase each individual one as you need it, or you can get the unlimited access plan and get access to all of what's in the library. It's an easy checkout page where they just put in their card, their information, and then go to checkout. When you go to the unlimited access, if you want to create a monthly reoccurring, a yearly, semi-yearly, whatever it is that you want to sell for your digital creation, this is a great way to do that. Give them options, individual purchases or bundled purchases or even yearly access or some type of monthly membership that where you can bring in a community. You'll also see on our website that we did add some amazing features. These are website features, frequently asked questions. 
we've got an easy button to click join the community, which takes them to a funnel page that we created with the same design look and feel where they can jump into our Digital Creator Pro community to get the latest on what's new, what's coming, announcements on new bundles. We also created an affiliate partner page. This is using high levels of affiliate manager. So they go on, they fill out a form and you can become an affiliate to resell our yearly plan. There's a lot of great things. Now you can create this page however you'd like. Again, this is your digital product. This is what you're selling. It could be a digital download. It could be eBooks. It could be videos and anything that you're selling as a digital download. A digital download in our particular case would be links to Canva or links to a Google Drive to grab content, or it could be a Dropbox. So what we did with our Digital Creator Pro is we knew we were going to have hundreds of thousands of products in here. So we wanted to create an effective plan on how to really organize our store so that the visitor would have an amazing shopping experience. We made it really easy. So now that we've had a chance to take a look at what the actual finished product of the store is, keep in mind we're continuing to load products weekly as we really build up our store and our templates of all types to help marketers all across the world. But we've got to start by having a master list of our products. What we want to do is we want to use Google Sheets. You can use Excel spreadsheet. Any type of sheet to master your product list. Eventually, we may get new features where we can put all these in and bring them into the store. Right now, this was an easy way to manage our digital product lists. And so our team could utilize the list on the back end. So I'll show you what we created in our digital product store. Now, we have a lot of different websites. And because we built it out on this one, now we've mastered our process both for our team for us, for what's going live. Now we're planning on utilizing the same process for our other sites, our SaaS Pro U. We have a Course Builder Pro coming, and this was just a great way to organize us. So what we did was we just created a simple Google Sheet. What we did was we put part numbers in here, and then we put the links to the product. Let's say, for example, you were selling an ebook or some type of video download or whatever it is, a checklist. You would put your part number and then create a checklist and put a link in here to where that checklist is. Where did you build it? Where are they going to get it? We also listed price. We also have images for store products. We put these as 2000 by 2000, which I'll show you here in just a minute when we get into the products. There's also a spot you can put descriptions. We had already started on all these, but on our new categories and templates. We're going to be putting product descriptions in here so our team can easily just copy and paste it and put it in the store. We also have created a column for the collection, which I'm going to show you when we get into payments. And then we just show what type of uh, product this is. In this particular case, we do a lot of social media. We do a lot of eBooks and then we do videos. So these were our types of download. Yours could just be eBook, downloading instructions, guides, whatever it is that you are selling in your digital store. We also have funnel pages happening when it comes to specific bundles and lead magnets for download that we're going to be adding. And then right here, this is what makes this Google Sheet so valuable. Not to mention that we have the price and the product, but we also have the direct links right here. This could be a Canva template product. This could be your Google Doc Drive link, your Dropbox Drive link. These are the actual links to the product. But if we need to make a change to that product or a change to that graphic, we can easily grab our template product information here. We also created a PDF for purchase. So after they purchase, we send them an email and we have all of their digital documents in a PDF for them to download, which we created in Canva, download it as a PDF, and put it into our high-level media library. And of course, our final checkbox is that the product is in store, the email and the workflow is complete, and it's ready to go. The idea is that you want to organize and maintain your product list. Adding product information to Google links, entering product names, descriptions, adding your specific links, like I said, whether it's Canva design or PDFs, you want to maintain and update your Google Sheet regularly 
to make sure that your products are up to date adding new products, taking away products. Using Google Sheets or a master list of your product and links is going to be very valuable in managing your, what we'll call, digital inventory. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna create a website with a store. Now remember, I'm not gonna go through how we did all of this. You can watch our create a website, you can watch our store videos. What I wanna show you is how we created a store inside of high level to be able to make our website be a digital e-commerce store. And the way we did this was we just went in and created a new website. And then we began to create all of our pages. You can see right here, there's a few simple pages. I showed you the template page and I showed you the industry page in which we created right here. I want to go back and before we jump in, I want to show you how easy it is to create an online store. All you do is click new website. Let's select one from the templates. We'll hit continue. And then right here, you're going to see these little e-commerce options. Let's for fun, go ahead and select this one. If you like the way this one looks, keep in mind, you can always edit any template and give it that look and feel and make it your own. Think of templates as like a roadmap because by the time you're done with that template and designing it, it's going to look completely different to be exactly what you want because you've designed it for your store. Once you've selected your template, you'll see everything in here that's amazing. You can easily come in, change out the images, change out the text, and the categories by the store and the store shop is going to pull from what you put into your inventory. You can see this is a really simple, easy page. When you come over here to pages, you're going to see product lists, product details, carts, and things like that. I'm gonna go back out so you can get a look at this from a bird's eye view to see what happens. They created a home page here, and then you've got a product details page, a cart page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. Let's go into the product details page. You may want to edit and create your own headers here if you want to change them for the specific product page. Now, if you went into a site that was already a website, you can easily add a store to that website. I'm just going to put this demo up. I'll just go into the home page. And let's say inside of this random web page, we wanted to come in here and add a store. Where it says add elements, you'll see right here store. It's going to say, do you want to add a store to the site? You can select add store. It's going to build out those exact pages. The shop page, the purchase page, the checkout page. It's basically going in and adding those store pages into our website. Now let me go back and I'll show you what that looked like. And you'll see right here, we've got product list, the product details, the cart, the checkout, and the thank you page. You will need to go in and edit your headers and footers into these pages to make sure that you still have the same look and feel of your website. And that's really easy to do. You can design what you want these checkout pages or these detail pages to look like. I went in and created all of my shops as a template because I didn't want it to be a global page affecting my home page and my other pages. What we did was we created a template section. We just named it header shop template and then we saved it as a template. And then all we had to do was come in here and go to our section templates, look for the header that we did and then drag and drop it over. We also brought in a footer as well that was a global footer, so it would show up. You can easily go in and edit or change these pages if you decide that you want to add a current store to your website. I'm going to go back into our digital creator store so you can see exactly what we did. There's a couple things that you want to know regarding the store products list. And that is when you see the products list, anything that you put in your payment section as an online store is going to show up here. Here's why I'm telling you this. If you are creating different stores, this is a page you won't want to use because it's going to pull every product into your store 
that you select the dial button to an online store. So if you have three different websites, this isn't a page that you're going to want to use because you want to separate those pages out and create different pages based on your collections and how you create your products. We realized this as other products that we put on another online store started showing up. Our workaround is we just don't use this page. And that's really just in case you're planning on creating more than one e-commerce site. It's all going to be related to the payments that you select in the online store. And you'll need to use collections to be able to organize things. Now, what I love about the online store is if you watch right here when I select industry, if I wanted to do a page, let's just say everything that was related to fitness and nutrition, I want you to look at this URL right here. You'll see digitalcreatorpro.com forward slash shop collection fitness nutrition. I can add that URL to any page link I want. We could add a whole page on fitness and literally put it in a menu and have it go to that URL. So there's some workarounds if you want to get really specific on your shop collection categories. We just did a selected template and select an industry, but you might have a multitude of collections or things that you want to use. And that's a good tip to know that you can see the URL live and utilize it by adding it to any button or any links that you want to add within your website. Another thing that you can do is you can see right here, we created a template page. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit on the template page. And I want to show you right here where you can add elements. When you go down to the store elements, you'll see that we can add a cart, a search bar, and a collection. So you could add the cart to your menu, a search bar like we did right here, where you can easily change and edit the look and feel of your search bar. This is a collection list. And inside this collection, when you drag it over, you can select your specific collection. All you do is go in to this little plus button and you can add a specific collection. Watch when I click here it's going to let me select from any of the collections that I created inside my product store. So let's see here, we don't have a section for mock-ups yet. So I could easily add the section for mock-ups and I can drag and drop that section wherever I'd like and I can also delete that. And remember, these are collections that we create inside of our product store, which I'm going to show you next. You can do this literally for any page you'd like. Once you've added all of your collections, don't forget to select Save and Publish when you're ready to go live with that specific collection page. So I showed you the search bar, the collection, and you can add the shopping cart as well. Pretty neat when it comes to setting up your website store. The software is really simple. If you want to learn more on how to set up your store specifically, check out the website and funnel training and you can check out our e-store training videos on how to set up your store in more detail don't forget we also added our privacy policy and our terms and conditions make sure you add those pages to be compliant with your store your checkout and your terms and conditions based on their digital product that they're buying for you is it 100 percent guaranteed is it a refund in our particular case and in most cases when it comes to digital media downloads, because it's not a physical product, we don't offer a refund or an exchange. We give enough information in our store so that way people can see exactly what they're buying and what they're going to get when they purchase a template. So when you look into a specific product, let's go to, let's look at this accounting product, and you'll see right here, we were able to add additional pictures to show what's inside. If the visitor likes what they see in here, it's an easy buy. When you're doing non-refundable items, be sure to add these extra images inside your store so that way the purchaser or the person buying the goods feels really confident about what they're buying. They love the templates or they love your download. They see exactly what's inside and there's just no question about wanting to add it to the cart, purchase and check out because they've seen enough information. For a very simple and easy to use shopping experience, 
High Level's website and store does the job. It's clean, it's simple, it's easy to use, it's easy to shop, and it's really easy to manage. Again, just be sure to check out our videos on how to create a website and a funnel and the store videos if you want to get more in-depth training on the details and ins and outs of the website and the store. Now that we created our store, what we want to do is go in and add the products. We want to create products and we want to create collections and we want to get everything into the store so it shows up looking really beautiful on the website. The way to do this is you'll go into payments and you're going to go into products. When you go into products, you're, this is where you'll create a product. I did a mind map of what we wanted to use for our collections. I knew that we were going to have collections for specific templates, things like mock-ups, brochures, universal templates, and then I knew that we were going to have industry categories. So I just used a Google Doc and created these categories. I even put them inside of my spreadsheet so I would always remember what my collections were. So you'll see right here, we've got three websites in the Digital Creator Pro Store. I added the collection categories of types of templates that we would be selling and then the specific industries we would be selling. And what's great is when I create a product, I can select a multitude of collections so they can show up in that collection and within that specific industry. A great example would be, let's say I created a real estate ebook. I would have it in the ebook templates and I would also have it under the real estate category as well. I'm calling it categories, but it's also collections. This is the word that they use for creating categories is collection. So all you do when you create a collection is you put in the collection name, you add an image, and then down here for the additional options, this is where you'll add your SEO, your description, and whatever your name is of the collection will show up here in the URL. When you go to add an image, that's where you'll see that we've got our media library. We created an entire media library for our Digital Creator Pro products. Each one of our folders is a collection. Creating folders based on collections made it really easy for us to organize those collections that we were going to use or the categories that we were going to use. So any advertising templates would go into advertising. If it was a specific food and beverage template, it would go into food and beverage. So we created folders for those collections. And then when you open up, let's say food and beverage, you'll see we created subfolders under the food and beverage to be able to show each of the products. So this allows us to utilize these images across high level with our team. So social media planner can come in here and grab a bakery image. Let's open up bakery. They can grab any one of these bakery images and add it to a social media post or an email. Anybody can come in and grab this image and add it to the website and it's all here and ready to go. So again, all we did was create a store folder and inside the store folder, we created collection folders and within the folders, we created the subfolders for each of the part numbers, allowing us to reuse it all across the platform. So once you create your collection and you have everything loaded, now you can have an image of that collection. If you go into the selected industry, we created graphical images for each industry related to that collection. And that's what that image is right there. And that's how you create a collection. Again, I strongly recommend creating a list of all the collections and how you want to do this. That way, when you go to create your collections, you know exactly what you're doing and you're really organized within your collection. The next thing that we did after we created all of our collections was start to add in the products. I'm going to select edit on this one so you can see what it looks like. It's going to show the product information. Do you want to include it in your store? You give it a title, a good description, and any other information that you want. On our single products, we think the best value right now is to get the unlimited yearly access plan. So we're promoting this on each of the products because if somebody found five or six products, it's better to just go with the yearly plan. If they like what we're doing, they're going to love the yearly plan. You can use this box to add anything that you'd like related to that product or related to any upsells that you want. 
you're always going to want to make sure that this is turned on in order for it to show in the product store. Remember earlier when I told you if you're going to have more than one store, if you have two websites with two different stores and you select this button, that product from the other website that you want on your other store is going to show up in the store shop. You'll need to be very specific on the product list page. This is the one where it pulls from everything. If you noticed on the product list page, if you put those in two different sites, they're all going to show up here on this product page. And you'll see when I click on this, all it is is the whole products list. I can't do anything or edit anything with this. So something to note in why you may or may not want to use this specific page and build out the other pages until we have a way of being able to segment which products go on which page. Another thing you could do as a quick tip would be to maybe create a collections list on this particular site. This is what we thought about doing. So then we would say shop here and we would take the template and add in every everything that had the Digital Creator Pro collection on it that would show in here, that would show all the store products. So there's a few workarounds that you can do to work around that little tiny minor issue on the actual product list page. And what you would do is on your shopping page, you would just come in here. You could literally remove this, come down here, drag and drop the collection, and under this collection, name everything Digital Creator Pro, so then everything would show in here. And basically what happens is when they click on this link, it then shows all the product categories that they would see. So they'd have to click on here, and then they would see all the products. If we're not really using this page. We've just created those specific pages to keep for our specific products. Earlier, I showed you the URL and how we did that. So once you have your product information down here, this is where we upload our file. Now it says 1024 by 1024. We did 2000 by 2000. We wanted the image to fill the spot. This is where when you click on upload file, guess what our team did? They were able to go into the Digital Creator Pro, go to that category, go into that product, and easily add these store images. And then right here for the product collections, that's where we added our specific product collections. Remember I told you you can have two different sections or more so that product can sit in other collections. In this particular case, we had fitness nutrition. We want it to show in social media templates. And we also want it to show in the industry fitness and nutrition section. Then you're going to want to add your tax on a product. If you're required to add taxes, that's where you'd want to add your tax. Then right down here, this is where you add the price for that product. This is digital media marketing, so we're not tracking any inventory right here. So we don't have to worry about tracking the inventory. Once this goes in, it sets up our internal product ID. We are connected with Stripe. And then we select save and our product is good to go. You can see we've created pages and pages of product. We had over 100 products, so this was a little bit time consuming. Thanks to our team, we were able to get that in. We added products to the store and we created a collection. One of the things that I want to show you is that when you create an unlimited type program, you may want to go into your sites. We went into our funnels and we created the digital creator course folder. And we added in specific stock bundles. For example, if we want to do a promotion on a bundle of a bunch of different things, this is what we did here. We also created our affiliate signup page here, our unlimited page here, and our community signup page. And remember, you can easily create a new funnel and bring in the graphics from your website. You'll see it takes you to the unlimited plan page where we tell you about our plan. And again, you could have different plans. And then when they select this button to get started, this takes them to the unlimited.digitalcreatorpro subdomain, which allows you to purchase the product, put in the promo code, apply the promo code, and you watch it apply an amazing crazy discount. The other thing that you'll want to know is inside of your payments, when you go into coupons, this is where you would create a coupon. So you can create a coupon for specific products. I'm going to go in here and edit this. You'll see we created a Digital Pro $200 off launch coupon. The coupon code is launched. It's a fixed amount for 200 
It started today. We don't have an end date yet because we're still loading in the products. What we did was we selected the unlimited Digital Creator Pro Unlimited Access, and you'll see that popped up right there. Digital Creator Pro Unlimited Access products. Now we're also looking at doing some more fun coupons. We did an AI launch coupon for 30% off. And we'll do more and more coupons when it comes to certain bundles or things that we're doing. This is a great way to add promotions. Adding coupons is a great way to track campaigns, track people where they're signing up, what social platforms, what campaigns you want to run based on what specific products you're trying to sell, all kinds of fun things that you can do. We also created an amazing funnel and an automation that grants people access to our unlimited access store. And all we did was go into our courses. We created an amazing product called our Digital Creator Pro. Preview this to show you. So when they sign up for a product, they are taken to a checkout and they get an email based on the products they purchased an email download. When they sign up for an unlimited or a link or a program that you're sharing, could be monthly or a yearly unlimited access type program, you want to take them to a single place where they can access all the information. We use high level membership course to create an unlimited plan. We have an entire course here on showing everybody how to get in and watching the demo, amazing tools, and then right here, you'll see the bundles, you'll see each category. So it's so easy on an unlimited plan to go in and categorize your course if they wanted that specific industry or that specific template or template style. They can come in here and just select it. And when they go into your course, it shows the images of what you've got and look what they can do. Click on the links to download and grab when they need them. That's what makes having a membership course a great way to help you manage your categories, your specific industries, or whatever it is that you're doing to help them easily access an unlimited amount of products by paying that yearly fee. So we just created a simple workflow to access the unlimited access. And then, of course, we have our community where we announce any new additions to the course module. So you can go in and grab the template that you need. So creating an online course product is really great for those unlimited monthly or yearly access plans. So we had created a product, we created a collection, we could also create coupons, and then I showed you how to create a Digital Creator Pro unlimited course library, a yearly product or whatever product that you would like, an unlimited type access utilizing the product for an unlimited access and then granting them access to a course. We wanted to provide extreme value for an unlimited yearly access. So now that you've either created a single product, a collection, or you've created an awesome landing page, now what we want to do is we want to set that email automation and workflow up for the store purchase. Now, if you've already been familiar with they purchase a product like the yearly or the unlimited, We've already created a real simple workflow for that. They click the button, they purchase, they get access to the course, we invite them to the community, and we also invite them to become an affiliate to be able to share their link to other people to basically help them cover the cost of their unlimited yearly plan. In this section, I want to cover setting up email automation and workflows for a single store purchase, and I'm going to show you how we did this inside of our Digital Creator Pro. The first thing that we did was we created an email template. And inside of that email template, we added an image of the product image. This image matches the product image from the store. It's just a little bit longer because it looked really nice in the email. We also added a button right here with a downloadable doc from our media center. This would be for a single purchase. I'm going to go ahead and select this and just copy this in a new window so you can see what this looks like. We created this in Canva, a real simple, easy to use download. There's some instructions. We're giving them an additional chance to grab the coupon. And we're also sharing, guess what, our high level affiliate program in here as well. 
The main thing that you want to do when you have a digital download is at least create a page of whatever it is that you're selling, where can they get it? In our Digital Creator Pro, we use Canva. And so if it's Canva or Google Docs, we put the icon here and watch what happens. When they click on this, it opens up a new window. They can then easily come in. In my case, it says edit. It'll say make a copy. It'll give them a template. So when they purchase the product, they're getting an email with this PDF link to be able to grab the assets that they just purchased. All we did was create a simple email with the product image, the link to put our purchase download. We also talked about joining our community and of course getting the unlimited path. Once we created the emails, it was so easy to just duplicate the emails and then just add a new image and add a new URL. So our team did a lot when it came to setting up over a hundred products. But what I loved about this was all you have to do is clone the previous email. We were able to clone it, add the new image, add the URL and continue to add products. So we've got our system down when it comes to adding single individual digital media products. Now, what we did also was we created a workflow for each of those that we could, guess what, easily come in here and duplicate the workflow. And the workflow goes like this. A lot of people will say, can you send me the snapshot? It's too easy for you to build. There's no reason to try to sell a snapshot. The best way to do this is to title your workflow based on that product and then have the trigger be the payment received of that product. Payment status is it was a success. We picked global product, we typed in accounting, and it's the accounting 200, accounting 200. We saved the trigger, and now the trigger's good. We also added an opportunity where we're just putting an opportunity, hey, this product was sold. We do an internal notification to let our team know that this was sold. We add a tag specific to the product, and if I can give you any guidance on this, I recommend doing product dash and then whatever your product name is. This allows you to do filters with anything with product dash in it. Then we set up our email, we went into our templates that we created, and we added the template here as an attachment. You can also edit those emails from here. We just found it was easier to just clone clone and then come in here and create our workflow. That's for those of you doing hundreds of products. If you're just doing one or two, you can easily edit your template as well in here and save it or you can make a copy but like i said we did everything in the emails and then we came in and created our specific workflows we gave it a title and so that way the subject would show through and we did all of that in the actual settings of the email and we found that if you go in and edit right here to the three dots right here to the settings if you just do a preview text viral story template download that comes through on your workflow very nice and clean and it's able to organize and put that subject right in there for you. Setting up our email automation and workflow store process is flawless. Now that we've added over 100 products, I think we're close to 150, I would like to say that we are a pro when it comes to managing our Digital Creator Pro store. And one thing to remember is always test run your email automation, make sure your PDF links are accurate, and then always test your workflow and triggers. I showed you how we created an email, adding an image and a downloadable URL PDF, creating a workflow, setting up payment triggers, and configuring how you want to be notified and sending an email after they purchase. The final thing is just remember to always test your emails, your workflows, your PDF links to make sure that your customer has a great buying experience and that your automation and emails are working flawlessly. And that is how we built our digital store using high level software with our simple steps of adding Google Sheets for master products, creating a website store, adding products and collections to the store showed you a little bit about using funnels for other types of plans like unlimited whether you're doing monthly or yearly pricing and then setting up your email and automation workflow for your individual store purchases i think i covered everything that i could think of that we possibly did during this project 
Hopefully this has given you enough ideas to help you create your digital product store. Don't forget to check out the website and the e-commerce store training videos. Those are going to give you a little bit more details on being into those sites and creating those a little bit more enhanced than I did in this training. So be sure to go check out and watch those videos as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.